Hey everyone, welcome to another lesson in this Tracentis test automation playlist. Till now, we have seen how we can set up Tracentis test automation and then how we can create an account. And we have also seen how we can create a new test case by scanning different modules of a web application and then how to execute the test case in Tracentis test automation. Now let's take it a little further. Now every test case in automation requires parameterization. This is because you don't want static values in your test case because you need to test with different values and that's why your values should be dynamic in nature so that whenever those values change you don't need to change them across all of your test cases. So let's look at one test case which we have created and then let's try to parameterize this test case by using parameters. So let's go back to our test cases. Uh, we can do that by going to inventory and there going to test cases. Now inside this we have got one test case which we created earlier. So let's open this and then inside this you can see that it has got two test steps. One to open the URL and one to enter the text query and then click on the search button. Now, out of these two steps, uh, we have got a couple of parameters like the URL, right? So this value www.google.com can easily change in future or you want to test with some other website. In that case, you need to change this URL, right? Now, ideally, you can change that URL in this test step itself. But what if you are using this particular value in more number of test steps, then it becomes difficult, right? Similarly, uh, if I want to test with multiple uh, search queries, then um, this value will keep on changing, right? It will not remain Tosca always. So in these type of scenarios, you need to think about parameters. So how can we create these parameters? In every test case, you have got a parameters tab. So besides the test steps tab, there is parameters. So click here. And here you can find all your parameters for your test case. Okay, currently there are no parameters for this test case. And if you look at the description, it tells you that these work as variables for your tests. So you can easily reuse values across multiple controls in your test case. Okay, so let's go ahead and add two parameters now. So I'm going to click on add parameters. And here I'm going to use uh, two parameters. The first one is URL. So that's the name and what you can also do is provide a default value. So this value would be always taken whenever you call this particular parameter. Okay, and here we are going to enter the URL. So www.google.com and then we are going to add another parameter and uh, we are going to call it query. So this is our search query and for now we'll enter Tosca. Okay, so these are the two parameters with two default values and let's go ahead and save this now. And let's go back to test steps because uh, we have created the parameters, but we are not using them, right? So we need to replace the values here with the respective parameter. So let's go ahead and delete this particular value. And now we need to refer to the parameter. Now, how can we do that? We have to use the curly brace and pass on the parameter name here okay so that is url and then close the curly brace same for here so here uh, we will say query inside the curly brace so now this test case has got two test steps which are using uh, the values as parameters okay so these parameters will be replaced by the default value which you have provided so let's go ahead and save our test case and now our test case is ready. So let's go ahead and run this again and let's see if the result is still the same or not. Okay, so I'm going to run this uh, and I'm going to start the run here. It will open the launcher and then it will start the execution. So as you can see in the background uh, in Chrome, uh, the Google website has opened 
and now it will enter the search query and click on Google search. Okay, so uh, these are the search results for the query which we have provided. So our test case was successfully completed using the parameters. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the execution was stopped and let's now go back to our test case and let's look at the last run. So here is the last run results and uh, that will provide us the logs, okay? So here is the last run which was succeeded and let's open this and let's look at the logs, okay? So here the important thing is uh, how it converted the parameters. So in line number six, you can see uh, the buffer with name URL has been set to google.com and then the buffer with name query has been set to Tosca, okay? So the parameters were replaced with the actual values, right? So this way you can use parameters wherever you are trying to enter some value or you are using some value which could be dynamic in nature. And your parameters then could be used in multiple test steps across your test case. So this is a way to uh, make your tests more dynamic in nature so that you don't use any static values. And also uh, the changes required later on becomes much easier and faster. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.